welcome to my studio. Normally, I live in a place where you can see the beach and it's nice and lovely because I don't know if you know I'm Brazilian and I live in this little island called Florianópolis. <laughs> and but, however, this is how what we get today. It's been raining for a week. I've been waiting and waiting for the best day to film this, but well, <laughs> it's still raining, so here we go. <laughs> Hi, so now welcome to my tiny little studio. I didn't tell you before, but I'm Horesky, this book illustrator, and today we're gonna talk about the, my process of doing the illustrations for Sonia to Wolf. Written by Shannon McClintock Miller and illustrated by me. Present you before all the process my tiny little studio. So here I put some of my books that I illustrated, and it's not all of them, so I'm just I'm still waiting for them to arrive, and some of them is in the shelf. And here is you you see it's like nothing here, but normally I put like lots of drawings here, so like some sketches, some Lots of things, but I just took off everything because I like to take it out when I finish lots of projects at once and because I am on a break for a while um, I'm, I am just putting it blank because for now it's, I can have more inspiration and put new ones there um, So, here is my shelf Here is all Trina's book illustrations or books about art books that to studies and I like to have these books because like when you I'm stuck in one page, I like to see from some reference or I, and because I do love children's book, so I love buying them and have them here in, as inspirations and reference. And yeah, so let's go. So I'm gonna show you the cover, the next step before after the the characters. I did the cover. It was quite a challenge for me because normally I do the cover in the end and in this time I did the, cover, the first thing, the cover and I, in this part I already know that I already read the manuscript I already knew uh, uh, the explanation of what it will have in each pages But with the cover um, Here is the sketch This was already like almost the final sketch because I did before that, I did some thumbnail, like quick sketchy with my ideas. The only thing that I had from the editor, it was like the idea was to have Sonia like standing up on the world. But I was thinking that because of, because of the reason that it was not a story just about Sonia, it's about the connection between her and all the characters was good it was i thought it was good to bring all the characters like here to the cover and making them having connection my first idea was like bringing them like having connection just by lines and stuff but because of the reason we just got out of covid the i was told that it would look like they had like they were more isolated by each other and yeah and i agree with them so I got this idea that maybe like doing the things having connection with between them like Hagan when he's like sending code to Jack and then here Natalie seeing the eager from the zookeeper like so like you see the connections between coming like the waves like doing like waves going and then they all connected but at the same time we have a character here looking at the ego. We have grandpa and grandma looking at Carly. And, and yeah, so, and here is like Tio. And because Anna is in the library, I thought it was maybe it would be good if we put her in like on the book. And then you see like the letters going out to grandpa. And yeah, so because the main idea was the connections between them and the electronics and here you can see that 
I did forgot the like the electronics. So like one of the things that changed between this and the final cover was like Natalie is now is like looking at the phone and like taking pictures of the eagle, like or maybe searching for him. And then here you see that the butterfly is coming out of Brianna's phone. So yeah, this is was my the end the sketchbook for the cover. And let's see the cover how it looked like in the end. And this is how the cover looked like in the end. After the character's definitions, the cover and everything like sorted, I'm going to ice, ice the part of the thumbnails uh, for the book. And this is my favorite part because I think it's the part that you are thinking about the compositions and it has to be very clear what you want to show in the page for the client. And yeah, so in this part, I normally do on my, oh, actually all the sketches I normally do on my iPad um, or on my sketchbook. But for this book, I did everything on my iPad. And so, because I like to get out of the tiny little studio and be here in my table where I can see the view of the beach there, or I can go to the coffee shop, or I can go to the, like, outside i just like to on the 10 day part that i think is where the creativity has to be very like flow so is where i just need to get out of the tiny little studio yeah so i'm gonna show you like i wish i had everything on my like on my procreate but because of because of memory i have to delete it so i'm gonna show you everything on what i did like after all the thumbnail was finished and I sent it to Capstone. Okay, so let's go. On the thumbnail part, I do like very sketchy with how you can't really see which character it is. And I show them like everything that is on the scene, like do like very clear what it is. And kept like the client normally sometimes send me what they want in each page and like a little like description but i always believe like we can like add more things and then sh like to get the idea for what they are telling us to do so I, I i put here like what they tell us to i always feel like what they said it and then my idea because then they will remember what they said and then we'll combine with my idea and understand what i said what to do and here is and then I also always feel like what is written on the page because so the client remember like so they'll have to like open loads of, loads of documents at once. So yeah, so here we are, some of the thumbnails like you can see it's like very very sketchy at this stage. But I always try to be very clear of what I want to put on the, on the scene, my main idea because I believe this part is more about the idea, about the composition less than like a really good drawing it's like because you already know the characters how they look like and so if you feel, if you do like a sticky man you're gonna have like the idea no it's not gonna be a sticky man it will be this character here we go and then here is all this this was my first idea and then sometimes i also put like some reference of the page like the like the angle this is actually one of the pages I did for another book, so just to understand how it look and then also to show them that this composition works pretty good on the on the book. And yeah, so this was the thumbnail part. And this was the page that needed more. And but in the end I really liked the idea that we put the girls here and not everyone already outside of the house. And yeah, so obrigada. <laughs> I always put obrigada and thank you at the end of my presentations. Once the thumbnail is approved, it, we go to the sketches, more details. This was the first one, so you will notice that some of them was already changed, like this one. Final idea, you can see from like the, the faces from the characters. So after the feedback, all the sketches are ready to color. I first, I I still like because like all the sketches are made on my iPad, and 
Before going to Photoshop, I also do the color block on the iPad because I do like the freedom out of the synthetic, out of like the computer. However, I wish I could do everything on Procreate, and, but I do love layers. Like I can't do less than, I can't do less than 36 or like I need more layers because I like to, I like to have different layers for like the shadows and like textures and I like testing and I like to be like, ah, if I do this, that's just tiny a little bit of shadow here, even that I already have a shadow in the character. And so, and then I like to do the sketches, like feel like it's color pencil. And so, yeah, so all this is made on Photoshop and just a color block that I do on the Procreate. And I also, I don't know if you're similar, familiar to the, Pro, the Procreate, but I don't like to do the, like a circle and then you just drop the color on that. Like I do like to do the color block as I was doing in the traditional way, like just like, Sketchy, sketchy, like sketchy, sketchy. Uh, so just having a quick look on how the pages will look like with colors. Here is the first one, and here is Brianna with her sister Sonia. <laughs> so, so here is Sonia with her sister Brianna, and here's the grandpa. I really like the grandpa. And here is Grandpa and Grana, Granny, and here is Hagan, and. Yeah, so this is the library. Yeah, so here's all the pages with colors. And yes. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, so here you can see like after some sometimes this happened, like in the color it, it we have some just tiny like some tiny tiny thing to do like is it looked like a tablet for like an adult, like it's so like it, they, they asked me to be like more like child friendly. So yeah, I really like it, this feedback. And here you were just seeing, not seeing the walking stick head and then here you can see it, the talking stick head. So it's way more friendly, all the look on this page. So yeah, so I really like this, this feedback from them. I think really stand out way more the page. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you like it. So I'm just gonna open here in Photoshop and then I'm just gonna turn on the, the, the layers so you can see it. So here's the background and here's that. And then here's one leaf, the leaf are the box King stick coming in. So, oh, I opened the file that the walking stick is only, is no, you can't see the, the face from them. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, so here is, I just turn you on the layers like normally here like material is not one layer it's like at least like 10 6 let me think because I do like the face in one layer and then the eyes eyes and nose and the, and the mouth in another layer and then then his hands in another layer and then the head normally I do in another layer as well and here's the flowers the phone also yeah so I'm so sorry is the first version for the color and yeah so here we are Ta -da. Yay. <laughs> so yes I hope you like it so welcome back to my tiny little studio and we are at the end of the video so I really want to say thank you for being here with me listening to my process of illustrating the books on this digital world and I always want to remember that it's not only one person job and so I want to thank Nathan and Kay and so everyone from Capstan and my agent Emily and Robin to help me doing the process and of course the channel to writing this lovely story and yeah so bye if you have any question you can email me or find me on my website or Instagram okay <laughs>